Okay, so this is uh, my new and improved uh, bass fuzz. I'm going to be playing with my H-string at first, and then I'm going to walk over to the other side of the room, and I'm going to grab my bass, and you'll hear what my bass playing sounds like. I, you know, I'm a guitar player, but this circuit's designed for bass guitar, but, you know, you know, I, I like using it for different things and stuff. This is the new improved one. This one uses a Darlington transistor, which means it cleans up a lot better when you're using it on the guitar. And, uh, you know, the other one sounds kind of cool. It sounds kind of choked when you roll it back. But this one cleans up better. So I think it's an improvement. But I still got some circuits of the old one if, you, if you're if you interested in the one that chokes up more. This one cleans up better. And I, I feel like it's more useful for guitar. But it's not it's not maybe not as psychedelic sounding if you like that choke sound. So we're going to hear what this uh, bass fuzz sounds like on the guitar. And then we're going to try it with the bass. It's because my guitar's already right here. So now we're going to switch it over to the bass and we'll hear what it sounds like. thing's pretty loud. I think I would turn it down a little bit if I was going to use it. All right, let's turn it down a little bit.
I'll apo I apologize, my bass pots are pretty scratchy. So, uh, and also I haven't really been playing bass much, but this is meant for bass. And uh, I think it sounds pretty good with guitar too. So it's also kind of a, a low dumpy fuzz for your guitar or a nice little vintage style fuzz for your bass. It's a pretty loud pedal. Um, it's not extreme, extreme loud like the L mod, but it's, it's fairly loud. I'd say if you're using it for a bass, you probably want to roll it, uh, roll it back, maybe run it at Unity. That's what I would do. Alright, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my other uh, demos of my builds. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.